whether you're on the big map or on Rebirth Island, we haven't seen much of a meta shakeup in a long time. But there's one thing that since the launch of Urzikstan has never changed. And that is the most useful tactical you can take into Warzone at any given time is smokes. And at this point, I am tired of smokes. So I've decided today that I'm going to let you in on a little secret on how you can absolutely ruin almost every meta player's play style. And I've been doing it for a couple of weeks. So if you've been watching the streams and you want to find out these tricks ahead of time, I recommend checking out the streams every day, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But you can also hang out and watch for these videos where I'm going to give you some of the best tips and tricks that I can offer inside of Warzone. And today, that is two basic principles. One, smokes are going to be used for almost every major rotation from any good team in the game. And they're very, very useful. And in an entire meta full of smokes and weapons like the DG58 LSW that have absolutely no recoil, you've got two options. You can either hide in the smoke while they're beaming you, or you can run out in the open while they're trying to beam you. So most people are going to take the smoke option because if you're not already good at rotating, you're going to run into an issue where you're going to need some sort of cover to get across. And, well, Urzikstan itself isn't always the best place full of cover. We know that most of the POIs in between them have usually some pretty good cover, but not always, especially around the areas when you're going to get over towards Popov and rotate either up the hill or across. And we all know what it feels like to get absolutely demolished by the DG right now trying to get across those hills. So most people, if they're smart enough, are going to be packing smokes. But here's the way that you're going to ruin any smoke play in the game, and that is, of course, thermals. Now, most of you probably know me as the sniper that I am. I have been in love with the Moors, but I've been using the Cat AMR a lot as well, and both of them, it works exceptionally well. The Thermo Optic X9 sees through smoke at every range, and even if you're running cold-blooded, you will still see them, because Call of Duty does a really good job about coding their games. So the Thermo Optic is absolutely busted for any long-range options. And then the FSS Spectre does the black and white style of thermal, and you can absolutely see anybody through those smokes as well, because all it does is break down the smoke, but the person, even if they're running cold-blooded, still shows up inside the smoke. So the combination of the F FSS Spectre Holotherm and the Thermo Optic X9 on your weapons means that no matter what they do, if they don't understand positioning, you can punish it. Now, of course, you can put these on the DG58, but I am the anti-meta man that I am, so I'm, of course, going to be running all the options on my sniper because I enjoy taking out people in smokes. Also, because you're going to continue to run smokes because they're still the best tactical in the game, you can throw one down and win the game by firing straight through it at the enemies that are waiting for you to come out. But you're not going to come out. You're going to win the game while in it. So behind me is going to be some wonderful gameplay using the Moors Heroes on the Urzikstan map, as I am a big map player. And you're going to watch me drop 19 kills while absolutely terrorizing the map with a Thermal Moors. And maybe a Hackusation to end the game. Check it out. I don't do gear again, Clayton. Appreciate the uh, appreciate offering though. Gas is closing in. He's the juggernaut. Now he's dead. I need y'all to stop that. All of it. The boys, I mean, you still can win, buddy. You just gotta, you just gotta give it time. I've been playing this since, uh, I've been playing Warzone since March, what, March 10th of 2020 when the first one came out. So, I mean, I've played a lot, I've played a lot of Warzone. And then I've played a lot of, uh, 
Battle Royales even before that, like PUBG. So, I mean, if you've been doing it as long as I have, you'd hope to at least win sometimes, you know? <laughs> you hope so. You hope so. Welcome back, Jimmy. But yeah, I'm holding the Moors and the Rival right now. Diego, they're my moderator. They've been they've been brought on specifically to help me deal with people who ask dumb questions. The crazy part is there's not even a lot of dumb questions in the in this, but sometimes people find a way to do it still. Standard PCs, what's it called? Uh, audio balance? Oh, okay. Oh my god. This guy, I swear, is untouchable. Every time I try to shoot him, I break him or anything like that. As soon as that line goes down, I need to shoot it down so that way they can't jump at me. Jumped in that building to fight. 
Gas station in there. Oh, across the street. No, 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 not in my house. You got gas moving in. Seventeen. You cheated. No one in has been detected at this time. Area is clear. The fights. The fights.